So we're gonna be talking about goals today and um, I think there's a huge importance about goals and I think a lot of people love the idea of goals and to talk about goals, but when I actually give them the steps to do it, I think people will find it very tough or they don't find the true value in it. And so my goal today for you watching this video is for you to find value in what goals do and to give you some data to back up why you should be doing goals. And so the first thing I wanna do is talk about how fortunate I was at the age of 22 that my coach and my mentor both told me the, and, and, and educated me about the importance of goals. And not just goals, but having them written down. And so I wanna to talk to you guys about the Harvard uh, study that they did that my coach told me, I'm gonna tell you just like he told me because I remember like it was yesterday. So what they did was they took Harvard graduates and post-graduation they surveyed them and they said, said, who actually has written goals with a plan? And they asked this group of graduates, and it was pretty interesting. 3% uh, of these graduates actually had written goals down and they had a plan, only 3%. The second group was 13%, and the 13% actually just had the goals in their head. And I know a lot of us sometimes say, yeah, I've got goals in there in my head. That's the 13% of the Harvard graduates. And then the third group, which is really not surprising, is there was 84% of them had no goals at all. They just did not have goals. They didn't set them. They didn't write them down. They had no uh, anything about goals. Now, first off, I want to stop and ask a question, which bucket do you fall in, right? I can tell you right now, I would probably want to fall in the goals bucket. And I'm going to give you the, the st st statistics of why that's important. So fast forward now, 10 years later, they interviewed the same Harvard graduates. They asked them a series of questions. The biggest one that was my biggest takeaway was the amount of earning potential. And so if you took the middle group, the group that actually just had the goals in their head but didn't have them written down, they found that on average they earned twice as much as the folks that had no goals at all. So the folks that actually had goals in their head earned twice as much as the folks that had no goals at all. Now, that was pretty cool, pretty exciting, but what was even more fascinating to me was what about the 3%, the folks that had them written down and the folks that had a plan? And the study showed that, guess what? The folks who had goals that were written down and had a plan earned on average 10 times more than both groups combined. 10 times, guys. And so I tell you that story because it inspired me at the age of 22. It was one of the reasons why I wrote goals and why I had a plan to write goals. So let's talk a little bit about some action steps that I think are important to help you achieve having goals that are powerful and impactful that actually work. Um, number one, right? You have to sit down and think about what you want your goals to be. You know, do you want to lose weight? You know, what do you want your house to look like? Do you want to purchase a house? How much money do you want to make in your business? You know, what are some trips you want to go on? Whatever those are, you have to actually think about the goals. Step number one. Number two, remember, we want to be part of that 3%, right? We got to write the goals down. So your next step is after you've thought about them, let's write down the goals. Now, the third step is you have to have specific goals. So for example, I might have a goal that I wanna lose weight. Great goal, you got it written down, but not very specific. If I lose one pound, I've conquered that goal, right? I need to have specific goals. So I wanna lose 50 pounds possibly, right? Whatever that, may, that case may be. Now the fourth is you have to have a deadline on that goal. I wanna put a man on the moon by the end of a decade, right? Very specific goal written down and it has a deadline. So you gotta have a deadline with this goal. And then what I think is the topper to all this is actionable items that connect to the goal. So for example, if I wanna lose 50 pounds in five months, I need to have three key action steps to get there. Maybe the three key action, action steps are, I'm gonna drink more water, right? I need to drink X amount of ounces of water. Maybe I'm gonna go to the gym three times a week. Maybe I'm not gonna eat out more than once a month. Whatever that is, three actionable items that tie to that goal. So with those five steps, I can tell you a couple things that have happened to me personally. One, it's real hard to miss the goal. It's in front of you, it's written down, you have the steps to get there, right? Number one. Number two is, what I found is when I write it down and I actually do this process, I'm holding myself more accountable. Now, one thing that I found that discourages some folks is, a lot of people don't wanna do it because they feel like if they write it down and they fail, they're a loser, they're a failure, they didn't do great. That's where the actionable items come in. Those three actionable items. What I want you to focus on is I need to do those three actionable items. What I found is when I do the actions and I complete them, I may come up short or I might hit that goal, but if I come up short and I did complete the actual items, I've actually learned what worked and what didn't. But actually just giving up and not writing them down and not following through is where the mistake happens. And before we leave, I'm gonna give you, we have great tips for you 
For your business side, writing goals and doing this, if you go to goals.asktai.com, we lay all this out for you on the business side. The five steps are for the personal side, but for the business side, go to goals.asktai.com. You will get help. We have a process. We'll walk you through it step by step, and you'll at least have your business side taken care of very quickly. Besides that, I hope you found the importance of goals. It's changed my life. It will change your life. Today is day one. Set the goals, do the steps, make it happen, and do not procrastinate. Take care, ciao.